Welcome back everyone. This is part two of my first troll in the old town of Jakarta. This September we will celebrate the 17th anniversary of the 9-11 tragedy. Let's have, let's have a sit down. Wow. This September, September this year, we will celebrate the 17th anniversary of the 9-11 tragedy that destroyed the iconic World Trade Center in New York, United States of America, that, that killed more than 200,000 people at that time. And the single terror, uh, that historic single terror attack that changed the world once and for all. Since then, America has maintained uh, Islamophobia, the highest rank, the highest rank on Islamophobia since the Bush administration up until Trump administration. The Islamophobia in America went down in Obama administration, but it goes on the rise again on, Ob on Trump administration. This year we will celebrate the, ninth ele the, the, the 17th anniversary of, of the 9-11 tragedy, a tragic moment for America and a tragic folk moment in the world. And that is when America start to view Islam as a bad religion. Yeah, so that's why America yeah, so that's why America invade Afghanistan and invade Iraq in two thousand and three. Yeah. By invade with lies. But 15 years after the invasion, yeah, we will see how how terrible is the condition in Iraq and, and Afghanistan. And then America invaded Libya in 2011. And how how bad it is. On the seventh year, how bad it is. Seven years after the U.S. invasion to Libya. And now U.S. invade Syria. And how bad the country it is. And then the U.S. nowadays start to launch a proxy war against Iran and most recently Indonesia. Most recently Iran, previously Indonesia, and previously the U.K. after the Brexit referendum has announced. Like what I said earlier, Brexit it could never happen. Brexit it will never happen because it will. Brexit will never happen, guys, because Brexit will never happen because yeah, it will take years to it will take years to possess. It will, tell, it will take years to negotiate negotiate what kind of Brexit that requested by Britain. The deadline is on. 31st December 2020, but it will take longer than it will take longer, longer after, after that. It will take finally it will take longer. So my best decision, my my best decision will be cancel the Brexit and keep Britain in the European Union. Yeah, because Brexit is an American-driven decision in order to allow American black oligarchs, in order to allow American black politicians to steal more pound sterling from the from the Bank of England. Because America seems EU is kind of protective on their money, on their heroes, that American black oligarchs are not not easily able to steal billions of euros from the European Central Bank because of its locked locked policy. The fact is the fact is Bank of England the fact is Bank of England is part of conspiracy. Part of global conspiracy. What the fuck are you doing, you idiot? Sorry for the rude word. In fact, the in fact the Bank of England has 
sometimes mentioned uh, as part of global conspiracy. But I think But I think it's like uh, Bank of England is part of Yeah. Part of showcasing the UK as the most powerful state in the world, not the US. If Britain, if Britain finally withdraws from the European Union, yeah, Britain will lose its status as the most powerful state in the world, and Britain successfully bowed their heads down America, the most arrogant state in the world, and, and CIA designed Brexit in order to, yeah, smoothing the special relationship between the UK and the US in which some millennials oppose that. Yeah. <laughs> America successfully dictates dictates the world. America success successfully dictates the world and yeah. But I believe New World Order that that organized by Rothschild and Rockefeller families will be failed. That's it. And one day we will able to see and one day we will able to see a new world order in which Europe rules the world. In which rules up in which Europe led by the UK will rule the world. That's what new world order that I really want for. Yeah. So again the so how to realize that? How to realize that? Yeah, Britain should improve its relationship with the EU and with Russia, with China as well. Yeah, I don't say, I don't say that Britain must quit its diplomatic relationship with the US, that will, that will definitely crazy. That was definitely crazy though. The US shall maintain its diplomatic relations with the US, but with less priority. The biggest priority of Britain of British diplomatic and foreign policy, the most important are EU, Russia, and EU, Russia, Turkey, and China. That's it. And the Commonwealth, don't forget. And the Commonwealth, don't forget. And the Commonwealth, forget about. Yeah, just let's let's prioritize America. Let's prioritize America. Also, and I do think that Britain is able to be a self-reliant nation without depending on America for almost everything. For almost everything. For example, like Britain and EU had already on the EU Japan free trade area <coughs> and possibly EU Russia free trade agreement EU China free trade agreement EU Turkey and these days Britain has advocated for Turkish membership in the EU and my this and from this part I would I would say that as a good British man I support Turkish membership for the EU. Yeah, I back Turkish accession to the EU. Yeah, definitely. Because of what? Definitely. Because of what? The EU needs Turkey, and the Turkey needs EU for what? Number one, for economy, economy-related reasons. Turkey has lots of natural resources. Than any other EU member states. Number one, Turkey. Number two, Turkey could bridge EU to Asia. Turkey could bridge EU to Asia, and with Turkish direct involvement as 
the 29th member of the European Union. That would mean, that would mean, that would mean, we will see a Bosporus friendship. A, a Bosporus Brussels friendship. Between Turkey and the EU. Definitely. But since Turkey announced a constitutional amendment on a referendum that Turkey will be that Turkey will become presidential state effectively next year. Yeah. The Turkish accession talks to the EU have been effectively stopped, but I still support Turkish accession to the EU for, for that reason. And don't forget, Turkish Airlines is the largest airline in the world in terms of number of countries served. In terms of number of countries served by the airline, the Turkish Airlines in which has the slogan globally yours because of because of the biggest number of countries served by Turkish Airlines including all member states of the EU uh, Turkish Airlines globally yours next after Turkey Norway why Norway? Nor EU needs Norway for its natural gas support, for its oil support, for its natural resources support. Yeah, the EU needs, yeah, according to my Swedish friend, the EU needs Norway for money. The EU needs Norway for money, for economy. Yeah. So far, Norwegian economy is far stronger than Germany and France. Fine. <laughs> so far, yeah, so far, Norwegian, Norwegian economy is by far stronger than German and French economies combined, to be honest. So, the EU needs Norway for natural resources team issues, for economy related issues, and that's it. Yeah, and that's it. The EU needs Norway for that, and Norway could be the 30th member of the EU. But in terms of Turkey these days, we have seen large opposition for Turkish membership of the EU Turkish membership the EU of Turkish membership the EU accession of Turkey as member of the EU have faced so many opposition for example like uh, opposition by I should say conservative Christian Democrat politicians namely the current president of the EU Commission Jean-Claude Juncker opposed that idea. Former, no for what? Yes, yes for what? <laughs> and then former president of the European Council, Herman van Rompuy opposed that. Former president of France, Nicolas Sarkozy opposed that idea. German Chancellor Angela Merkel opposed that idea. The only nations that support the Turkish membership, the Turkish, the Turkish accession as member of the EU, are only UK and Poland. Yeah, so that's yeah. The UK seems like pro to EU enlargement, but that Brexit referendum show, shows that EU enlargement could cause fears among the majority of Britons. What kind of fears? Immigration fears, Islamophobia, Christophobia. Yeah, according to several sources that I know, yeah, most of 
EU member states are secular. Most of EU member states are secular, but the UK isn't. But the UK isn't. Yeah. Possibly the UK wants to avoid secularization. I definitely agree on that. I definitely agree on avoiding secularization in the EU. I definitely agree. Definitely agree. Definitely agree. Definitely agree. But in terms of long term future of the EU, I oppose Brexit. In terms of avoiding total control by France and Germany, I definitely agree on Brexit. Definitely. Who says I'm for anti-Brexit? Definitely not. Sorry. Definitely not. I'm sorry. Yeah? Who says I'm radically anti-Brexit? In fact, not. In terms of avoiding secularization, avoiding the total control of France from France and Germany combined. In terms of uh, avoiding the abolition of the Church of England, I definitely agree on Brexit. I definitely agree on Brexit because the EU is just a secular institution that is that is nothing to do with God. While most British peoples, especially in England, they are still put God number one <laughs> even former prime minister of david cameron even former prime minister of the uk david cameron from the tories once stated his plans his intention to bring back god to politics in which doesn't match with the eu's secularism eu's secularist politics dph to be honest Yeah. But in terms of long-term future of the EU Europe, including the including the creation of of the so-called the United States of Europe, I oppose Brexit. Mostly, op I mostly oppose Brexit on most cases. Yeah, on most cases because Brexit again is America-driven. American driven decision, American driven by American driven fear. Driven by American driven driven fear. One second. Oh, is that a speaker? Oh, a great speaker it is. Headphones. Is it is it not a great speaker with just small voice? Oh. Not too big. Yeah, that's okay. It's not bang and a lobson speaker which has which produce a loud voice. It's not Bang and Olufsen speaker, you know. <laughs> it's not even Naim, not even Harman Kardon, in which has big, bigger voices, man. Yeah, so I understand about that. I understand about that speaker, yeah. Huh? Yeah, definitely. Because you don't have Bang and Olof. Yeah, definitely because, because you don't have Bang and Olufsen high-end speaker, in which produce loud audio yeah. yeah oh you know you know bang and the love send oh, the speaker oh you wanna dance yeah. we will see your dance we will see your dance we will see your dance to be showed around the world huh that, that's okay that's okay just for entertainment it's for entertainment oh. Oh. we will see somebody perform a dance we will see somebody perform a dance behind me This is just for entertainment, yeah? Not for serious purposes.
You can give us comments on that dance on the on the email on the description box below this video what do you think about that dance or just hint or just hit like or dislike button yeah the speaker produce not so loud audio. As I said, it's not Bang and Olufsen hi-fi speaker in which produce very loud audio compared to compared to hi-fi speakers from Burmester, Mark Levinson, and Naim. You know, Burmester produce an audio for most Mercedes-Benz and Porsche cars Bang & Olufsen for most cars from Audi Mark & Levinson in Mark, Mark, Mark & Levinson from uh, Volvo and for Volvo and Jack cars and the recent BMW 7 Series audio supplied by Mark, and Lev Mark Levinson audio well the elder BMW well, the older BMW 3 series audio is produced by Carmen Carden supplied by so I do really understand about the audio quality yeah not so good but honestly I prefer bang and Olufsen instead of but honestly I but honestly I prefer bang and all of sin instead of Naim or Carmen Carden. Okay, just hit thumbs up or thumbs down for this dance video. If you like it or dislike it, just hit the thumbs up or thumbs down button without comments. For me, best audio makers, number one, yes, Bang & Olufsen, number two, tight between uh, Burmester Audio System and Naim. Yeah, Naim produce more natural sounds. Yeah, big applause for them. Big applause for them. Again, just hit. Again, just hit thumbs up or thumbs down button if you like or dislike that dance video. And as I said to you, that, that dance video will be showed around the world. Definitely. Okay, bye-bye for now. Now let's talk about audio now. As I said earlier, as I said earlier, once again, yeah, hi-fi audios are definitely good answers for your best entertainment. Yeah, my favorites, number one, Bang & Olufsen from Denmark. <laughs> number two, tied between Burmester Audio System from Germany and Naim from the UK. As, as, as I said earlier, Naim produced natural sounds yeah Bang & Olufsen also produce natural sound but louder than Naim or Burmester Burmester also produce natural very natural sounds but but it's quite moderate in ter but it's quite moderate compared to Naim and Bio Bang & Olufsen number three Mark Levinson. Number three, Mark Levinson, but 
I don't really like Mark Levinson, sadly. <laughs> and the last, the Harmon Group, JBL and Harmon Carlin, in which are so normative. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> In terms of luxury cars, Bentley Continental has 19 speakers from Naim, in which is so good, has a good quality, and then followed by 22 speakers at Mercedes Maybach S600 from Burmester, and then 19 Bang and Olufsen speakers on yeah, Audi A8 and Aston Martin Van Quish. Yeah, Aston Martin Factory Van Quish Audio is supplied by BO, Bang and Olufsen. And then Jack Land Rover with Mark Levinson, as well as Volvo. Yeah, Mark and Levinson, yeah, I don't really like uh, Mark Levinson audio system. Yeah, so. Yeah, I prefer, I still prefer number one, Bang and Olufsen from Denmark. Another dance video coming up. Another dance video coming up. But I don't want to film that. But I don't want to film that. If it's already 5.30, I will leave this place. Just go home. Yeah, because today is getting cloudy and a potential rainfall might happen within a few hours to come. Once again, potential ra rainfall might happen within the next few hours to come. Yeah. 3 coming up after this.